Hi, my name is Maria Ortiz and I'm the project manager for the Middle Cities Initiative at Pioneer Institute. Today I'm going to talk to you about what the Middle Cities Initiative is, what the goals of the initiative are, and also what we've accomplished in the past 18 months and what are the next steps for the Middle Cities Initiative in 2010. Pioneer Institute launched the Middle Cities Initiative early in 2008 to help the state and 14 cities across the state implement a comprehensive and cohesive agenda to promote urban revitalization and also to help cities uh, improve their governance. The middle cities include 14 communities across the state that have a population greater than 40,000 inhabitants that have a per capita income of less than $20,000 and a per capita property value of less than $80,000. And these communities include Brockton and Chicopee, Fall River and Fitchburg, Holyoke, Lawrence, Lowell, Lynn and Lemonster, New Bedford, Peetsville, Taunton, Springfield and Worcester. People ask us, why middle cities? And the older industrial cities of Massachusetts are often caught up between the greater Boston political force and economic power and the political force of the suburbs. And if you think about it, these cities are also trying to find their way between their former role as industrial centers and their new market function. And also these cities don't have a political, they're not cohesive politically. And the state does not have a coordinated strategy to make them self-sustaining economic engines. And the middle cities is really trying to change that. There is also little cohesion on public policy at the state level to address the challenges of these municipalities. And that doesn't mean that the state is not sending money to these municipalities. As a matter of fact, the state funnels tens of millions of dollars in grants to these municipalities. But the way the grants are distributed, it's usually very uncoordinated. And they are distributed very, very widely. And the grants are not tied to strategic goals at a state level. On the other hand, the state as a last resort creditor should have in its interest to promote good practices and good management in the cities. So if you think about it, if you implement good management practices at a municipal level, it's going to be much easier to advance the state's strategic goals. Since early 2008, we have held 12 community meetings with residents, local business owners, local leaders, and we have asked them how they would measure the performance of their city. Because we didn't want to come up with the measures ourselves. We don't live in these cities. We don't work there. We don't know what's best. They know. And they have come up with over 600 suggestions on how they would measure the performance of their government. Since 2008, Pioneer has held also quarterly meetings with the leadership of these 14 municipalities. And we have presented them data for four specific topics that the Middle Cities Initiative focuses on. Those topics are economic development, fiscal management, public safety, and public education. And what we have observed is that oftentimes the mayors are aware of the data of their own city, but when you look at the data of one city, it has not much meaning because there is no context. When you present data for 14 cities, it allows the leadership to see trends and to see areas of opportunities and also to notice challenges. And one of the most encouraging accomplishments that we have had during these meetings is to start seeing how the mayors are sharing best practices. Like at one of these meetings, one of the mayors noticed that a colleague of his, another mayor, another peer, was uh, had uh, managed to reduce the transportation cost of for out of school district um, children by half and he was very surprised and they started sharing what they were doing in their cities. So that, that is one of the things that Pioneer wants to do. We want to be the initiator of a conversation that will um, impact pub public policy in municipalities for the better. 
We have started collecting data for the benchmarks that we have generated throughout the whole process of the Middle Cities Initiative. And in 2010, the public is going to be able to access this data on an online tool. And they will have data for their own city and they will have data also for the 14 cities across the state. Uh, using this data, we will also produce policy briefs. And w our hope with these policy briefs is to identify trends and area areas of opportunity to improve the efficiency of municipalities, especially in the context of the fiscal and economic crisis that the, the, the cities in the Commonwealth are facing. Also, Pioneer will continue our outreach efforts because all these data and tools have no use if people are not looking at them and are not using them. Pioneer wants to offer citizens data so they can be informed and empowered and so they can hold their government accountable. And also we provide data for municipal leaders so they can make informed decisions. So it's a win-win paradigm.